Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this Panda wireless card. We're going to be installing this in Kali Linux and in VirtualBox. So first thing before we get started, what I want to do really quick is cut this open. We're going to open this together. I got my scissor and uh, I wanted to let you know it's a brand new right in the box and we're going to be doing this together. So let's go ahead and do that. Unbox this. Uh, make sure I don't cut myself. Let's uh, cut this open. And man, this thing is tough. So just give me a moment. I should have done this probably before, but it's all good. All right. So I'm almost there. Almost there. Got one piece out and the other piece so i just got it out as you can see it's the it's the panda pau06 so you can see it here it's very small but i'm just going to go ahead and just get this baby started so let's go ahead and just uh twist this on i want to leave this on the side for now until we plug it in so there's a few things that we want to do first in uh, in VirtualBox. So if you guys are you know new to the channel, please subscribe, share, all that good stuff. If you're returning, thank you so much for the support. So I have a Kali box here. I want to go ahead and right click and go ahead and go to settings. In here, you know, actually I'm just going to name this Kali 2022.4 because I just actually updated it. We'll see that in a second. So you can go to advanced, bi-directional, all this good stuff is good to go. I have six gigs allocated to it. Uh, the most important things that we're going to be doing today is making sure your network interface card is enabled. You can just have one. In my case, this is going to be bridged. That's totally fine for me. And then we have USB here. Since we are going to be connecting this USB, I want to go ahead and plug it in now. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Make sure it's, uh, it's all good. I want to bring this up. Okay, plugging it in. So we're going to give this a moment. Probably lost my internet, but that's fine. All right, so. What we need to do here is uh, select USB 3.0. That's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and hit add here. And the one that we're going to be using is Realtek 802.11n. This is the USB that we just plugged in. OK, so we can double click on here and we can see all the settings. We can see the name, the vendor ID, the product ID, the revision, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. OK, so what I want to do because I was reading on the internet before I was even making this video just to make sure this is compatible. And people were saying, you know, change the vendor ID, change the this, that, and the other. So I get, you know, I guess I just do it, you know, I'll just give that a go. So let me go ahead and add another USB. Uh, let's see what, for example, let's, uh, let me add, let me delete this, I'm sorry. Let me add a new one. Double click. I want to put Panda, if I can spell, Panda Wi Fi. Okay, the vendor ID. Uh, oh, crap. Copy these really quick. Well, I'm just going to take a snippet. Let me just take a quick snippet. So, just so I can have it, it's a lot easier than remembering. All right, so we can cancel that. Open this up. Panda dash Wi Fi. Okay, so my vendor number is 148F. Okay, I guess I'll make it capital, I'll make it identical. And product ID is 5372. 
And then remote, I want to put as no, because I want to keep it as the same. And then I want to go ahead and go ahead and whack this guy. Okay, so I got everything good. Let's go ahead and click OK. Let's make sure we're all good there. Let me go ahead and X out of this, uh, this other thing here. All right, so now before we uh, boot this baby up, I want to go ahead and remove the USB from my, from my uh, laptop. So I want to remove it. Uh, oop. There you go. It's right here. It's with me. So we're going to go ahead and boot up Kali. Go ahead and boot it up. Give us a moment. All right. So we'll give this a sec. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. We'll see in a sec how this goes. I'll make this full screen just so it's a little easier to tinker with. And this is a fresh and special. It's Cali Cali. Show you what I did. I did update it. I did upgrade it. I did all that stuff before. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal here. And let's make this bigger. And we could do a quick sudo su Cali. Okay. So first things first, I want to go ahead and cat out the OS version. You can see I'm on 22.4. I'm at the latest and greatest. All right. So what I want to do up here is I want to go ahead and disconnect. I won't disconnect yet. You know what? I'll actually. So before we actually um, plug it back in, this is the Panda wireless card that I'm using today. Uh, I got it a little while ago. I don't know if I spend $54. I don't remember, to be honest. But now this is what they cost. So. I'm not sure because they're higher in demand or just you know less of of inventory these days. Who knows? But this is the one I'm using. It's $54.99. Okay. So I want to go ahead and plug this in. Go ahead and plug it back in. Let's give that a moment. All right, so technically, if we go ahead and open up this terminal again, oh, let's go ahead and exit this. I already have this terminal open. So what I want to do really quick, I want to go ahead and disconnect the wired. Okay, so if I do an IW config, we can see that it's here, right? It's a w, WLAN zero, and it's managed. So we are good there. So it is recognizing the new wireless card. So that's a good thing. So there's a few things. Let's go ahead and try to connect to the internet. I want to go ahead and uh, available networks. And I want to go ahead and connect to my network. And I need to see what the what the password is. So give me one second. Uh, let me check that. All right, give me one second. Let me put that password in. Okay, so let's see if it connects. Should connect, boom. See if we can ping out to Google. Boom, we are connected. All right, so let's make sure we can browse back out, make sure we can hit refresh here. We're good. So we know our wireless card is working. That's just getting it up and running. So probably what you guys are using this for is probably like some wireless pen testing, making sure this thing can go into monitor mode and all that good stuff. So let's get started on that. So let me, let me go ahead and disconnect from the, from the wireless. All right, so what we can do now is we can run a few commands to verify, make sure we can get into you know monitor mode and all that good stuff. So let's first we can do, uh, let me just do really quick. Let me just do uh, IW configure really quick again. All right, we can still see it's in managed mode here, right? So what we can do is airmon, airmon, ng. We could do check just to make sure if we need to kill anything. So we can do, let me clear this out, up arrow. And then we can do kill just to make sure everything is killed, any processes that might interfere, you know? So now, what we can do really quick now, let me just do an IW config again. I think it was LAN zero. Okay, good. So what we're gonna do now is 
M on NG, and I want to put start, S-T-A-R, and then WLAN zero. Okay, so now it's going to start putting it into manage mode, monitor, monitor mode, sorry. Check. Uh, let me go ahead and just do a if config or IW config. And now we can see it's WLAN mon zero, and then it's in manage mode. Okay, so pretty much this concludes the video. Obviously, this is not a wireless uh, pen testing one. We, you can use try to use like Wi Fi um, to see if you're, you know, any networks around. And I'll stop it right there. I'll do control C. And because these are mine, uh, all right, so we can see that a few of these are mine. I have a few test uh, access points. And we can see here, so if you want to, we, we know the tool is working. We know we can see the, see the networks. So yeah, so that concludes this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the description below. And until next time, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully this is informative for you guys. Thank you so much and have a good one.